वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोग्राम अज के सैगमेंट अभी गलबात करेंगे एंटोनीन ना जो कि एक सर्टिफाइड न्यूट्रिशन प्लैनर ने तो सू दस कि किस तरीके होलिस्टिक अप्रोच जी अडोप्ट की जाती है की होंगी है जिस तरह अं डॉक्टर को जाने अं जाके उस को अपना इलाज करवाने सिमिलरली बहुत सारे लोग हम नैचुरोपैथ को जा रहे हैं हर्बलिस्ट को जा रहे हैं सर्टिफाइड न्यूट्रिशन प्लैनर एंटोनीना वर्गे जो हैं उन्होंने को भी जाते हैं की हों एक रोल इन किस तरीके जीवन के सहत को बेहतर करने अपना योगदान पा सकते हैं और इस बारे कुछ गलबात करते हैं एंटोनीन वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू यू नो एज वी गो टू अ डॉक्टर वी गैट ट्रीटेड बाय अ डॉक्टर सिमिलरली लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव स्टार्ट गोइंग टू नैचुरोपैथ्स हर्बलिस न्यूट्रिशनल प्लैनर्स लाइक यू सो वैन दे कम टू पीपल लाइक यू हू अडोप्ट होलिस्टिक अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स हेल्थ what is your role in that like uh, for example i come to you and i ask you i have some issue so do you just uh, recommend me some of the medicines or herb, uh, herbs or what kind of diet i should have or there is some more in depth uh, inquiry and then you come up with some kind of conclusions thank you yeah no you're very right um you when you come to uh, an alternative or a mm-hmm. natural you know nutritionally based holistic practitioner it is very different from the approach that's taken by the allopathic practitioners mm-hmm. so when you go to your doctor you know what to expect you know you're going to be asked the basic questions you're going to provide your symptoms you're going to be given a medication mm-hmm. or some kind of a diagnosis or referral to a different practitioner right when it comes to natural medicine uh practice what we usually do the person will come into our practice mm-hmm. we'll see down the intake first of all like an application that you're looking at it's right. at least 6 to 7 pages mm-hmm. and that is just the beginning application that is just for me to learn right. about the person as a whole about their family history mm-hmm. about all of their surgery history about all of their medication history about their dental history right. about absolutely everything about their lifestyle mm-hmm. and about their dietary preferences and then looking at all of that and sometimes there's also a symptomology analysis that has several hundred questions mm-hmm. so when the person answers all of those so when the person provides me all of that information this is when I'll be able to a couple of a couple of hours later at least sometimes it may take more than 10 hours of my personal homework at home mm-hmm. to actually come out with what's going to be the best recommendation for this individual right. based on everything i know about their history mm-hmm. about their lifestyle about what go- what they're going through right now right. and understanding the processes of everything in the body mm-hmm. um in holistic medicine we don't look at one organ Right. We're not just kidney doctors, or we're not just you know, uh, we're not just addressing one particular symptomology. We're looking at all the symptoms, uh, all the systems, mm-hmm. and all of everything that could have predetermined the condition and the problems they're having now. Right. So um, there, it's just a lot more in depth. Um, so we have to understand the whole person and right. not just not just address the. Yeah, I'm seeing your uh, application. What you have said, and this is quite in depth. You know mm-hmm. about a person, mm-hmm. and then you come to some conclusion. Now there are so many researches which happen. You know, it becomes difficult to comprehend what is happening. For example, uh, let's take for red or red wine. You know, mm-hmm. uh, people say, "Oh, it's good. Once uh, one uh, glass is good." Others say, "No, it's not good." Some say alcohol is good for you. Some say it's not. So, for a common person, uh, they are more in a dilemma. You know, not understanding what is happening. So, could you just elaborate on these researches and yeah. how, as a holistic uh, approach person, you look into these aspects? Yeah, that's a really good point that you brought up because you can find science mm-hmm. pretty much. Uh, guaranteeing or 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 um in some way validating anything you want right pretty much even though you'll find as much science about pro turmeric as oh, you yeah. will find against it yeah, that's right. uh or there fall definitely a lot more pro it, uh, mm-hmm. uh, for it uh but you'll find there's a lot of people that are kind of on both sides of the spectrum and there are people who absolutely love and understand nature and believe that we are natural beings and we should come uh, from that perspective and there are people who are just going to tell you that no we know better we know better than nature we know you know drugs are the only way mm-hmm. so um there so you'll find even in holistic practice you will find practitioners that will go uh very surfaced mm-hmm. that will have good knowledge and they will provide you good information about the condition or some particular aspects and they're the ones who will go really really deep mm-hmm. there are people who just love working with dietary recommendations and there are people that really love revising the whole lifestyle right. and making um uh, making very very thorough uh nutritional interventions and mm-hmm. very very deep uh, deep study of the individual so you'll find all wide kinds spectrum, of wide yes. spectrum <laughs> from perspective right. to understanding to any kind of analysis and and the and then and then support that they can offer you right. i've seen naturopathic doctors from really awesome 
um, to not so you know not so in depth right. I've seen or, or at least not understanding that particular subject very well because you have to understand medicine is a very very large scope of That's practice right. yeah. it's not just allopathic medicine mm -hmm. medicine is everything allopathic naturopathic homeopathic traditional Chinese medicine Ayurvedic medicine all of those things under one umbrella and there are so many different perspectives mm -hmm. and all of them it's not one is better than another right. one adds to another mm -hmm. so I think the more open mind that the practitioner is, the more educated and diverse the practitioner is, mm -hmm. the better that practitioner is at addressing your your, your questions and your needs right. than anybody else. And as you said, like there's lots of, you know, there's lots of misinformation out there mm -hmm. and there's lots of marketing out there. Right. And the best practitioner will be a really good person and a good advocate for what's best for you. Mm -hmm. And the primary role, I always say, I'm there to demystify <laughs> all of that noise out there. Right. I'm there to let's work logically Together, right. let's decide well does it make sense mm -hmm. let's talk about alcohol right you know all the pros and all the against and mm -hmm. what they're talking about but what how it actually functions in your body what it does to your blood right. what it does to your brain what it does to your liver mm -hmm. how do you feel the next morning and why what particular aspect mm -hmm. and what happened and then the person can make an educated decision mm -hmm. so well, again, as you've said, uh, the marketing uh, aspect is a big one, which I wouldn't like to touch right now. But uh, coming back to the holistic approach, what is your observation? You have been meeting people all over the world where you go hold seminars, meet people. Uh, what kind of change is coming, uh, especially amongst the youngsters? Are they also being driven away to this particular aspect of uh, you know, life or they are still in that uh, same old uh, what we see yeah. in the daily lives? Uh, great question, and you're right. Um, actually, young generation I find to be incredibly open-minded. Mm -hmm. um, I find that it's actually harder to work with people in their 70s and their 90s, or right. you know, uh, later generation, because they're just so stuck in their way, and it's mm -hmm. too hard and too late to change. Right. And um, and it's almost because we live through a phase, and we live through the time where natural medicine has been put aside and allopathic medicine has grown to its extreme heights and where everybody thought that mainstream medicine is the only type of medicine right. where everything else was called a quackery, mm -hmm. where everything else was dismissed. And now you see this big emergence mm -hmm. of naturopathic holistic medicine and nutritional medicine and chiropractic medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. It's mm -hmm. coming back to surface. People are just like, okay, well, this has not been helpful for me. These drugs are not helping me. Right. If, you know, if they did work, I wouldn't have to refill my prescription. Mm -hmm. So what do I do now? Right. So why why don't I try and go to an Ayurvedic practitioner? Right. Why don't I try and go if my back is always hurting instead of taking in painkiller? Maybe there is a structural damage. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can make some, you know. And so, and and people ask more questions, and I see that a lot, and you know, in our generation, but mm -hmm. I also see that a lot in the young people and young right. kids. They are, they, you know, they research. Mm -hmm. They are, they can spend hours on the computer getting lost in any particular subject. Right. And they are very, very curious and interested in all of the ethics. Right. They look at this, the size of the corporations that mm -hmm. are selling us drugs. They're looking at all the money aspect of it. They kind of follow the money. They're trying to understand who is behind what. So basically they're they are more aware of what you are saying and that they yeah. can take uh, decisions much faster as compared to the other generation. They're critically thinking, yeah. Right, and finally, uh, this is thinking that you know allopathic medicines give you instant relief, whereas uh, the natural medicines will take time. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you have to say about that? Briefly, if you can let us know. About Fantastic. That. So allopathic medicine can be like you know if if I just had a tooth pulled, right. yeah, give me numb it down. So I'll definitely maybe I'll have to be, take something allopathic. I'll have to take a drug right. to help me temporarily. Mm -hmm. But what I don't want, I don't want to be on that drug for the rest Forever. of my life. Right. So if you want to do from prevention perspective or mm -hmm. natural holistic measures, we can work with both. In right. natural nutritional medicine, we can work with both. We just don't want you to be dependent on drugs. Not to make you addictive to drugs. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much for your perspective. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. Today, we have talked about this, which Anthony has said, that the key work is that the holistic approach is adopted in our professionals. We are a naturopath, a acupuncturist, or a certified nutritional planner. We have a whole in-depth study of the people who have had issues with their own knowledge, what their lifestyle is, what their food is. उस तो बाद पूरी तहकीकात तो बाद इंडिविजुअल नाल बैठ के फैसला कीता जाना है कि केरे चेंजेस उस दे लाइफस्टाइल दे बेच उस दे खान पीने बेच ले आने जान आज समाज दे बेच ऐसी देख रहे हैं कि ऐसी एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन्स दे डे साइड इफेक्ट्स ने वो साडे सामने आ रहे ने बहुत सारे लोग जड़े ने � खास तौर पर जो नवी जनरेशन है क्योंकि उन्होंने को सारे टूल्स ने रिसर्च के उन्होंने पता है वो अवेयर ने 
ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਈਂਡਫੁਲ ਡਿਸੀਜਨ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦਾ ਸੰਮੇਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਈ ਥਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਐਲੋਪੈਥਿਕ ਮੈਡੀਸਨ ਲੈਣੀ ਹੀ ਪਏਗੀ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਬਸਟੀਟਿਊਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਕੀ ਉਹ ਬੰਦਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਐਡਿਕਟਿਵ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਹ ਦੇਖਣ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਤਤਪਰ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਨੈਚੁਰਲ ਮੈਡੀਸਨਸ ਦਾ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ